Hello everyone and welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So today I've got Colton with me. Thanks for being here, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, and we are going to be giving you our thoughts on the new release from Sutliff Tobacco Company called Pipe Force Episode 6. Hmm. This is the Specialist Falfa. Um, this is uh, blended by Per Jensen, who is the head master blender for McBaron Company, which owns oh. Sutliff Company. Okay. So... Um, that's how they're uh, tied together. This is a uh, Virginia Oriental based. It has Kentuckys, uh, it has stoved Caterinis, mm -hmm. Perique, and Virginia. There is no added flavoring. This is in a crumble cake. It comes in a 50 gram tin. And it's even though it was it's a limited release, they only made 7,500 of these. Um, it is still available on okay. smoking pipes and tobacco pipes and some other online store so you can get this still if you want to try it uh the strength on this is a medium plus to a strong mm. the taste on this is full flavored yeah. uh, i would say medium plus to full flavored and so we are going to jump right into this but before we start giving our thoughts i wanted to read the descriptor that uh, sutliff company put out for this particular blend um this one came out on november the 25th uh, they say a woody, tangy mixture of select Virginia leaf is elevated with stoved Caterini, adding a dark berry and spice. Dark fired Kentucky and St. James Perique enrich the base with the earthy notes, pepper, and a light smokiness. Episode 6 is a savory, vinous evolution from the natural sweetness and dark flavor of the Virginia Perique genre. Richness with nuance all the way down. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's talk about this. What do you think about the tin note on this? Well, you know, we went over this last night a little bit, or maybe the night before. I don't remember when it was, but we went over it a little bit. But that earthy, kind of like musky, you know, almost like a funky kind of smell to it. Like it's a, it, 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 it's, it's a lot going on. It's a really complex smoke. And there's like a vinegar kind of hit to it, you know. We don't have much left on the tin, but... Yeah, we smoked all of it. Well, that happens. But um, no, it was like a vinegary, kind of musky, funky kind of yeah, smell to it. Yeah, there's an earthiness to it. You get a uh, kind of a cheesy, funky that's sweetness. What, that's, uh, uh, that's, that, yeah. that, that's the description. Cheesy. Musky, leathery, smoky, Yeah. Uh, light vinegar, light mm. spice. Yeah. I mean, it's all in there. A little bit of dark fruit. A little maybe. bit of sweetness, like just a tad, you know, like in there. Yeah. It's got a lot going on. A Maybe a, like a fig that's mm. in there as well. Also, yeah, I get kind of a citrus zest oh, yeah. kind of in there as well. Mm. It's, it's interesting. It's got a lot of different layers. Just mm. a lot of different things going on with the mm. tin note. Um, and it almost leans into a form of, a, of an English I would say, yeah, closer to English. Smell like that, with yeah. that dark-fired Kentucky in there kind of yeah. helping that out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's a really full nostril. Complex. Yeah, a lot going it, it, on. There's a lot there to the tin note. All right, well, let's talk about the uh, taste then. Yeah. Much like the tin note, there's just a lot of different layers to it. Whenever you start smoking it, you've got like this full body kind of sweet and sour. Like there's there, there, there's a lot of different flavors that are going on at one time. The, the the red Virginias in this mm. really kind of come through with that tangy, musty, three, uh, yeah. sweet and sour kind of taste. Yeah. Um, but also, there's quite a bit of dark fired taste mm. in this as well with the uh, smokiness and the kind of the barbecue flavors the barbecue is, in there. Yeah. The, the, the Caterini is, is present. You can tell... That there's a kind of a sour berry kind yeah. of taste okay. in there. Kind of a, a sour berry sour taste. Sour berry, I, I, but that barbecue taste for me is really what's coming through on this smoke in particular. Because last night we smoked it, and I smoked it in the corn cob. It was a little bit different than smoking it out of the briar pipe. It's, it's, am it's am amazing how much it changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, yeah. It, I'm just glad that I got to try both, you know. I got, I got to try it in my Missouri Meerschaum, and I got to try it in this no-name, whatever the heck this is, but... There's a lot of different 
just layers to it. Like you, you get that barbecue, you get that you know sweet and sour, you get that earthiness, you taste the red Virginias. There's a lot of stuff going on with it. It's a you, the complex. perique is is speaking in here as well because yeah. there's a nice pepper kind of of there spice is. that's hanging out in mm. there. Um, kind of a floralness mm -hmm. of, uh, that's that's in the background. Uh, I don't think that... I think probably the main ingredient is the Virginia, for sure. Okay. Um, and then, actually, the dark the dark fired is probably second in yeah. this to me. Yeah. So, and then everything else comes in underneath that. But it's mixed really well. Like... Yeah, it's there's a great... The, there's not one that's just, like, ridiculously overpowering the other Yeah, ones. we were smoking this last night at the campfire, mm -hmm. and it was just, like, perfect, mm -hmm. you know? It was 50 degrees outside. It, it, it paired well with cold weather and uh, smoky fire. Yeah, it was yeah. really, really good. Yep. All right, well, um, what are you getting on the room note with this? Well, now that we're inside, as opposed to smoking it outside like we were last night, it's it's strong. There's, it, it lingers. But I wouldn't say, to a smoker, I would say that it's probably tolerable. To a non-smoker, though, this is pretty thick, to be honest with you. It's, yeah. Uh, I get a lot of of uh, smoky peatiness Peaty. from yeah. from the room note. Yeah, yeah, that would be the word. It would be peat kind of. Yeah, smoke. It's, you know, like those wi those Scotch whiskeys that are yeah, made from yeah. the Isla uh, Island. The just that's got that intense smokiness. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm smelling yeah. with this. Might actually go well with a, with a good single malt. I think it would really good go well yeah. with a Lafroy yeah. or a Lagavulin. Lagavulin. Yeah. Yeah. I would, do, I would do log of lumen with this. That'd be nice. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, but uh, the room note itself, kind of thick to a non-smoker, but to a smoker, eh, tolerable. But it is it is there, and it's peaty. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely full, full-bodied full room note. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be be prepared when you walk into sure. a room sure. with this one. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, moisture level, what do you think? Uh, for me, perfect. I mean, we, we just, we you know, got it all broken down right there and i haven't had any relights or anything i think yesterday whenever we smoked it i maybe relit it once maybe a little bit of a dry time if you want to do that but i think it's pretty good right out right out of whatever i i don't know what state you pulled it out of either i don't know if you've well the the what we smoked i had let dried out a little bit okay well that's probably um right. and this that whole jar as a matter of fact i let dry out a okay. little bit before before i started <clears throat> smoking it but I think it's typical of Sutliff crumble cakes, where it comes a little bit moist. It's mm. very easy to break apart, mm. um, and you can smoke it right out of the tin, mm. or you can also benefit from a, a little bit of a dry time uh, for kind of a different flavor profile, and also uh, the burn ratio is going to be better. Uh, so. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it just depends on what you like. I think it's great, though. I mean, the, the fact that you could do both. You could do either or, you know. Yeah, you definitely could. you could smoke it straight out of the yeah. tin. Or you could sit there and dry it. Yeah. Whatever you want. That's what do nice. you think about the nicotine? A little bit heavier than normal. Probably uh, moderate. Yeah, I think that, that uh, dark fire does give it some, some nicotine content. It's got some juice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one for me is probably a medium. I wouldn't smoke it early. In the medium morning. plus, yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to smoke it early in the morning. This would be a later in the day. Smoke. You know, we mentioned this on a ep previous episode, but when you talk about nicotine content, it's pretty subjective. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah, because what what I think is strong may not be strong to someone else, or vice mm -hmm. versa. Yeah. And then so you have to sit there. You have to factor in. Well, what kind of day are you having? Are you what did, did you eat? You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the temperature of the room that you're yeah. smoking yeah. it in? It's, what kind of a pipe are you smoking it in? It's just this is different from person yeah. to person. So that's a that's a subjective kind of thing to think about. But well, for me, a, a little bit heavier. A couple <clears> of things that I I uh, found out about this one. Of course, we said it was blended by Per Jensen. Mm -hmm. I was on the tasting panel for this line, Ooh. and we tried all six of them during that time in April yeah. and uh, gave them our suggestions and sure. thoughts and yeah. they tweaked it just a little bit before yeah. they started putting it out, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it was uh, it was a really good, ex really great experience and they do that every year. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. 
So we've we've reviewed four, five, and six, mm -hmm. and of the three that we've already reviewed, I think this is my favorite. It's great. I, yeah, I, just everything. It's really well rounded, and you know, I wouldn't go and like smoke it really, really fast. This is definitely one you want to sit down, and maybe think about, go a little bit slower. I wouldn't smoke it extremely fast. I think the slower heart, you but... smoke this, the more nuances that you get out it's of the it. subtleties yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll get more of those out of it's it. complex it's balanced there's no bite to it mm. um there's a lingering aftertaste yes. which is interesting yeah uh burns pretty well mm. uh don't need a whole lot of relights on this one mm. i do not think it's an all-day smoke and no, I, no, I, I, yeah i couldn't do it all day that's just me though i mean somebody i don't know maybe you could but I think this one is going to age really well. Yeah, we talked about that as well. I'd be really interested to put this in a jar and then turn around and revisit it maybe in a year or so to see mm -hmm. if anything else, you know, like different flavor profiles to see if they pop out or something like that. Yeah. That'd be cool to see. Well, like I said, it comes in 50 gram tins. It is still available. I saw it for $14.50. And yeah, for what it's worth, that's a cool little... Uh, it's a cool little look. Now, the, you know what the cool thing about uh, Pipe Force is, is that uh, every 10 tins that they tinned. Say that three times. Every yeah. 10 tins that they tin, okay. they added a, a medallion that goes inside of it that is a Pipe Force medallion for this particular blend. Um, they. They call them challenge coins okay. in the military. Oh, okay. okay. And since this is kind of a military-based idea with That's pipe like, force yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, they put those challenge coins. So if you order 10 of them, you may get a coin out of it, too. That'd be cool. So, yeah. you know, it just depends. Anyway. Uh, every 10 10 that they tinned. <laughs> yeah, every 10 tins that they tinned. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I, what do you think about this? What are you going to give it? Oh, God, what did I give it last night? I don't even remember. You uh, gave it a four. Yeah, overall, I, I'm sticking with that one. Yeah, a four. That's this. That's a really solid smoke. It's a little bit too thick for me to smoke all day. That's probably why I wouldn't give it a 4.5 or a 5, but the flavors are there. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of complexity. I would not suggest this to somebody that's just starting with a pipe this might be a little bit much for somebody like this, that if you're a heavy cigar smoker this now, might be yeah a... because lately i've been doing a little bit more cigars than this and this has really reminded me of that kind of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I dig on that yeah but yeah. yeah four out of five four out of five i'm gonna give it a four today yeah. uh, last night i think i probably would have given it a four and a half yeah, yeah. simply because of the environment it that helped out outside. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh that. That, that kind of you know, change the flavor profile a little bit, yeah. but still a great smoke. Uh, and I can't wait to see what it's going to taste like in a year. I'm curious. Yeah. yeah. That'd be really good. All It'd right, really guys. Good. Well, that's, that's our thoughts on the, uh, the episode six for Sutliff pipe force. Mm -hmm. Uh, tomorrow, December the 5th, mm -hmm. Sutliff puts out their, their Kringle Flake. Oh, cool. Right and on. we are doing that as a tobacco tasters on December 26th. Okay. So, if you want to uh, participate yeah. in our tobacco tasters, then you need to get online tomorrow at 6 p.m. Yeah. Eastern yeah. and order some. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. it will go quick. It will not last more than a day. Matter of fact, there's some times that it's been gone in, in 12 hours. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Last they're, year's they're, they're iteration tasty. was the best. They're tasty. They're, it's, it's always really good. Yeah, so. the best last year. <clears throat> the difference on this one this year is that they're adding the stoved Caterini just like they did in this. Oh, cool. They're adding that to the Kringle okay. Flake. Okay. So that's going to change that that uh, that profile, like taste profile. Uh, a little bit than what we've had before. Yeah, well, so anyway, interested to try them. Yep. So go out and get that for sure. Uh, until then, though, we will see you next week, and don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great week. I guess. Bye bye.